Welcome back to our channel everyone. Today I will show you how to make smooth transitions using CapCut. For this video I will use my gaming videos so I can show you how to make smooth transitions between some clips that are not connected or if you want to make intro going to the gameplay or slow intro moving to fast rapid action video in the next scene so those kind of transitions are actually very hard to make you need to find the specific scenes for that and in this video i will show you all of that so let's begin we are going to insert our parts of the video the first part that we want for the intro and then just find the nice ending keyframe for that and cut it to that point like this and now we are going to insert our other clip onto timeline and find the starting point for the next part i will fast forward through this part since i am just trying to find a nice scene for this and here i found the best scene for this transition you can see my character is jumping from high ground and starting to fly so in my mind that's very much connected with our last scene from the previous video and let's use this as a nice transition start i will cut this video and drag it like this to the other video delete everything between And the next part what I'm gonna do, I'm going to extract the audio from this video since I want to uh, I want to make it so you can hear the audio in the previous clip. So as you can see I'm just listening and and trying to find the right moment for the transition like this. And here it is, it's already looking okay, but now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in your left, up left corner. Go to transitions and as you can see, you already have a lot of different kinds of transitions prepared for you that you can just drag to the timeline and put it in between those two clips. And let's see now. It's already looking better. If you now want to make it last longer or shorter, you can adjust the duration on your right, as you can see on the screen. Okay, that's actually too slow transition. I will make it a little bit faster, let's see. Yeah, I think it's better. Let me check like this. You can just drag this uh, cursor and see the transition, how it looks. And like that with the audio going through the first and second video, the transition is much smoother than if you cut the audio just at the start of the second part. And uh, also what you can do, you can use these effects or, or, or also audio effects library from CapCut. Just so you can make your transition pop out a little bit stronger. And I would not suggest to use transitions between every scene in your video. As you can see, there is a lot of different transitions and if you choose to use some transition, just stick with that one for the video or use two different if you have some other effects that you want to create. But don't get overload with the transition, different transition effects in your videos. That will ruin your video and it will make it look unprofessional and just, and just bad. And for the last tip, 
that I want to show you. It's something that I had problems with and I figured it out. Let's say if you want to add some text into one of those clips that you are making transitions between. Let's see how that looks. So we insert text like this. Let's say. We're going to write, let's go. And if we play the video, transition will not involve the text. So text will, as you can see, stay on the screen the same. It will not. Uh, have any kinds of it and uh, of effects on it so if we want to add effect to the text also so it transition with the screen with the video together we're going to hold our control button and then mark the text and the video that we want to make them uh, as one make them work as one video one scene right click and choose this option, make a compound clip. If you later want to change something, you can also go again on the right click on the video and just undo the compound clip. And let's see now how it looks. As you can see, it's much better, very smooth transition together with the letters. And that's all the philosophy of the transitions. My uh, last take on this would be that don't, uh, you shouldn't use transitions on every, uh, in, in between all of the clips. So use transitions uh, only when you need them, like transitioning from this kind of stuff, or if you're making some cool effect, of course. But that would be all that I have prepared for this video for you guys. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have some questions. And I will see you in the next video.